guys, I'm Jay Dupree, and today I will be showing you how to make long shots. I'm giving you a bunch of different examples of long shots, and we're just going to start with a full table straight in shot, or like a three fourths table straight in shot. So, when people are faced with long shots, usually they just get down and try to fire it in, which usually leads to a miss hit. Uh, also, you need to know if the table you're playing on is level. Because sometimes, if the table is not completely level, it will roll off just a little bit. So if you're shooting real slow, it may roll off to the sides. So you want to make sure your table that you're playing on is completely level, and you need to take your time. So you need to build your stance properly. And if anything does not feel right, you need to stand back up. So, when I say build your stance, so let's say, let's put this ball here. So, let's imagine that seven ball is our cue ball. I think I have it lined up correctly. Uh, that, that seven ball is where we need to contact the ten to make it. So, anyway, we hit that seven, that ten will go in. So, we know that's our contact point. Uh, obviously, this ball is not going to be there in a game, so we have to imagine it. But, we're good at imagining. So, you need to find your shooting line, get down, and take a, for, take a few practice strokes. Then you want to stop your tip and take a few small ones. Stop your tip. And accelerate through. And the big part is to stay down on your shot. Whether you're shooting fast uh, or slow, you need to stay down on your shot. Usually until the ball reaches the pocket. I have a tough time with this. I'm still trying to break that habit. A good way you can break that habit is just by setting up some balls, uh, let's say like that, and just getting down and smoothly pocketing them and leave your head down. And you have to do this hundreds of times to build up that muscle memory. Uh, so two more. This is especially important for long shots because any movement can throw your shot off. So take your time, leave your head down, and you don't want your elbow to drop. So if I line everything up and then my elbow drops, you may make it, but you may also make a mistake. So you have to line everything up. Make sure it's all on the wrist and the forearm. Uh, the elbow can drop just a little bit. If your elbow drops a little bit, you're fine. But you accidentally put a little bit of spin on the cue ball when you dropped your elbow that far. And that also puts spin on the object ball, causing it to veer off of its path. So build your stance, get down, take your time, big strokes, big strokes, then small strokes, and then that little those little tiny strokes are the most important part. Uh, make sure your tip is close to the cue ball when you do that. You can take a few medium sized strokes in between them, but make a few tiny ones before you follow through. You want your back stroke to be the uh, you want your back stroke to be the same speed as your forward stroke. No, you still want to have like a smooth back stroke if you're hitting hard, but at a medium speed, they should be the same uh, speed. And is there anything? that I should say about this until I do another far shot. Oh, follow through. You want to follow through all the way through your cue ball. So instead of just stopping the tip right there, you want to follow through all the way. Just don't scratch like that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. A lot of people ask about their eyes. Which ball do you look at last? I usually look at the uh, object ball last. Your eyes kind of flicker in between them to get... They flicker in between the cue ball and the object ball, but my eyes stay on the object ball last, and I always watch it fall into the pocket. Never watch your cue ball, because then you lose sight of your object ball, and it usually ends up in a miss hit. So let's take a look at a few long shots. So let's set up a shot, let's say, let's set up that. So this is a tough shot, you can shoot it in either pocket you want. 
I think I'm going to shoot for that lower left corner right there. So you want to find your line, and sometimes you can do that by just putting your cue down the straight line, just kind of getting a feel for where that contact point needs to be. Get down on your line, big strokes, small ones, up the tip, accelerate through. And make sure you follow through and stay down. I can't remember if I stayed down all the way on that shot, but you always want to stay down as little movement as possible. The elbow didn't drop, we followed through, we did the big strokes, we did the small strokes, we did everything we needed to and that got the job done. Even if it did rattle a bit, it still dropped and that's all that counts in the game of pool. So let's shoot another tough, long shot. So now usually these shots are fairly difficult like this. So we're gonna find our line. Again, you can put the cue down like this, just get a feel for where that contact point needs to be. I usually step back a little bit. And here's the thing that I didn't explain to you. If you ever feel uncomfortable on your shot, never shift around while you're down. That usually results in a miss hit. And you don't want to miss it because you'll miss unless you get lucky like that. So, when you feel uncomfortable when you're down on a shot, Stand back up, take another good look at it. You can even chalk your chip again if that makes you more comfortable. Find your line again, get down, go through that aiming process, and have no doubt in your mind. If you have any doubt that you're going to miss, you need to stand back up and uh, go through everything again. Because as soon as you have no doubt, you're pretty much, you're going to make it every time. You just need to believe that you're going to make it. I know it sounds really corny, but that's the truth. Let's look at another tough shot, and just for fun, let's swap out a cue ball for a snooker ball. If I can find a snooker cue ball, I think it's on the side. Yep, it is. There we go. Just for fun. Let's put the ball here and our cue ball there. We're going to go for that bottom right corner. Tough cut shot, a long shot. So we're going to find our contact line. Get down. I have a bit of doubt about this one. We'll look at it a few more seconds. right into the pocket. So we went through our big strokes, our small strokes, stop the tip of the cue, back stroke, forward stroke, follow through, and I think we stayed down on that. I can't really remember, but I believe we did. So last example we're gonna look at, let's just stay with the paper ball because I like it. Uh, let's make this real tough. Let's go straight in into that corner, but we're gonna go for that back corner right there. So we're going to find our line, take a good look at it, get down, right into the heart of the pocket. Uh, so if you ever have any doubt, again, just stand up, the process, long strokes, Short little fine tuning strokes, that's what those strokes do. They fine tune your aim. Uh, back stroke, forward stroke, stay down, follow through, and you should be good to go to make the ball right to the heart of the pocket as I just showed you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. Thank you guys so much for 12,600 subscribers now. 12,600, that's a big number. But thank you so much for that accomplishment. I obviously couldn't have done without you. 
because you are the people who watch my videos. So if you have any questions, as always, leave them down below and I will try to answer them. Uh, you're wondering what cue I use. I use a Miyuchi. Love the Miyuchi. Thank you to them for sponsoring me. Have any tutorial requests, leave them down below. I'm trying to do all of them that I can. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.